orange breaks me. So I'm basically incentivized now to remove orange from their exterior. <laughs> oh, oh, good, sh good sh orange. <laughs> Break my fucking bonus. Then I remove all your exteriors. You fuck. <laughs> Lock yourself in a pocket. Oh my god. <laughs> what is up? Risk takers! Welcome to the Kill Beat Strategy. I am Pete, I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weeknight streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals in the meta settings. Okay, so these blizzards choke off. Look at the hard chokes. Uh, slightly better new corner. We do see the gas wing cap. Perfect. Okay, so we don't fuck around with that. Other blizzards are here. That's a hard choke. That's a hard choke. That's a hard choke. Okay, in those three positions. What do we got? I hate all my cap options, basically. So given that, I'm going to choose a mid-cap position. No, I don't like. Very, very much so. Don't like. Don't like that option. I think we take Austria. Let's see who we see. We see blue. Blue goes for Gascony. Myself, I'm green. We don't see black. Do we see orange? We do. Ho, ho, ho. Orange is inside. Oh, poor blue. I can pressure this. So I can add to the three. Blue doesn't see that yet. I can add to the three roll down. Yeah, while well, guarding my capital and try and steal in a future turn. <laughs> Lol. Uh, do we see white? Oh, orange. Oh, you f***ed green so hard. Um, <laughs> I can try and be the predator to that. Yes, we see white. Do we see red? Yes, so the only cap we don't see is black. All right. That means that either no one's in the noob corner, and I can take it. Setting. For these games, these are the meta game settings for Risk Global Domination. We're not playing Risk Global Domination, we're playing Caps Global Domination Capital Conquest on Europe Advanced Auto 60 Expert Automated Bot. We don't start with any fog and blizzard on portals alliances are off, and I'm in the third position. In the first position, the player, the only player whose cap we can't see is General Thump 19158 from the United Kingdom. <laughs> playing is black. We get a good roll. Ha, ah, we do see black. Okay. We cool black? Okay, now that we see everybody, I am gonna work to pressure the blue capital. Maybe blue does see. The orange four, because he has a stack here. Maybe he doesn't. Going to find out pretty soon, though. I hope the black lets me hold Denark. I also now know nobody's in noob corner, so maybe I go up. That probably makes a lot of sense. Nobody's in the top left of this map. Blue, uh, red is going to go up this way into Scandi and abut white, hopefully. Black is going to go behind him and hollow out orient no one is here and orange and black are going to hit each other so i think my move if i hold denark is to take noob corner next turn yeah white's going to work on russia slowly what's the hurry get it okay no white doesn't know how to play good 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 we got a bunch of players in this game that don't appear to know how to play that connects to capital maybe there's no way he has an unbroken chain from the three in Arabia to the three to his cap yet. Surely not. I'm wrong. Okay, he does. He's an unbroken chain. So white controls all of these territories. Interesting. Red. Red is working on, yes, Scandi called that. Yeah, splits to take. Red has Scandi. Cool. I like that. I take noob corner then, unless blue beats me to the punch. Black holds and breaks, or holds and goes behind him. Looks like we see a break. 
No, he goes back. Thanks, Black. Cool. Like that. Like that a lot. All right. We reverse course. Take Noob Corner. The uh, blue-orange battle hasn't expanded yet. Okay, blue putting a lot of troops. Oh! Sneakily trying to take Africa there. Very sneaky. Wow. Going for a split bonus turn two. I don't like that. Don't recommend it. It's a, it's a very short-term play. Maybe blue's going to try and use those troops to leverage into killing the orange capital. But a single troop here. Maybe. Ooh, yeah. I want to leverage. I want to take the new corner ideally now. So let's see how. First of all, let's see how my dice are. Second of all, let's see if anyone's back there already. Orange three. Okay, no one's back there. Good dice. We take the whole noob corner. Now. Good. Starting Dinark with an eight. Good. I found a corner. I mean, I like that. I like having a corner. I also like that I know that the orange cap is locked behind blue. Orange think about where to put his troops. White's going to be off bonus. Does orange have Spain yet? Probably do now. Yeah. White off bonus. Working on Russia. Does he break red? Looks like no. Okay. Yes. Looks like no. Okay. Red takes Germany. Hopefully doesn't break noob corner. White says, let's be friends. Someone the other day commented that uh, that fist bump is pay to win, which I thought was adorable considering uh, the account I play doesn't, doesn't have it. <laughs> the account I play these settings on doesn't have it. And I could easily afford the $2. So <laughs> do with that information what, what you will. Um, okay. White's getting broken. Red had nowhere to go, but either that way or take Germany. Red chose not to take Germany. Love it. Black getting 11. Doesn't break again. They, if they were going to break, they would have broken the first turn, I think. Me backing off troops is favorable to them. Maybe they break now. Let's see. They see my capital. They see how strong it is. They're just guarding. They just want their plus four. I love that for you. Yeah, now they're taking Orient. Right. They're going to clean out Orient over a couple of turns. Yes. Okay. I think I dedicate absolutely zero troops to the noob corner <laughs> and just let it generate value for me. Put all my troops on cap this turn. Leave my cap line open to address orange trying to pop out of Spain. Blue doesn't know what to do. Blue's, blue got f***ed by orange capping behind them. They still get a plus eight, which oh, sorry, they're getting plus three from here, right? They have this bonus. So now blue, interestingly, is going to waste troops trying to contest black, but black's going to hollow out that pocket. This is all good for me. Oh, he's in. All right. And what does he come back with? No, he's just going to keep breaking Spain. Good. Good. He's going to keep breaking Spain. He, uh, Blue doesn't yet realize that uh, Black has no option. Yeah, Black has no option. This is good. This is good. We don't need to do much is the thing. Pull the troops into the new corner. So I have all of these troops to fortify in. It'll be a four, five, six stack when I'm done. But I'm not dedicating any new troops there. Okay, orange breaks me. So I'm basically incentivized now to remove orange from their exterior. And then you'll be locked behind blue. So, solid play breaking Pete. That was uh, <laughs> going to hasten your removal from the rest of the board. Red gets eight, takes Germany. Whites is good luck. Good. I'm, I'm very happy to see a war between red and white. Got 10 troops on his capital. Okay. Sorry, black gets the same. Black wasn't broken by orange. I was. Sure. I guess because orange couldn't punch through an actual, actual defensive block. Bot motion? No. 
Okay. Sets early. What the f <laughs> Yeah. Good. Blue's going to f*** you up. Hopefully blue continues with troops there. Dude, my spawn showed enough of this board. I can see exactly what's going on still. I love that. Blue, draft. How many go on capital? Which cap do I want? That was a really early set by black, too. Only two troops on his capital. Oh, no. You're going to leave yourself vulnerable to orange popping out in the second set. All I have to do is keep this cap strong, keep the cap line open, and take both when the time is right. Or now, because he weakens himself. <laughs> okay, good. Good, 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 good. Ooh, good dice. Huh. <laughs> oh, 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 good sh good shit, Orange. <laughs> Break my fucking bonus. Then I remove all your exteriors. You fuck. <laughs> Lock yourself in a pocket. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, this cap line is very open. I can't wait to see the Sioux slam. This way into blue's cap. Poor blue. blue. Blue made a great play and he's just gonna get fucked over by circumstance. Okay, white's gonna take Russia here. Okay, does white actually have a bonus? Okay. Red's still getting eight. All they hold is Scandi. I love the free noob corner. Nobody took it. Yes. And red now takes Germany. Red has Germany. Yes. Black still doesn't have anything more than Southeastern Europe. I'll show you guys the bonuses again. For those who are new to the map, this is one of the best maps in the game. Iceland. Plus two, British Empire, plus three, Scandinavia, plus three, Russia is seven, Eastern Europe is eight, Orient is six, North Africa, three, West Africa, six, and then four, plus four bonuses of Southwestern Europe, Western Europe, Southern Europe, Dinaric Alps, and Southeastern Europe. And finally, Central Europe is plus five, if you can hold it. And we're seeing black punch a lot. So black is finally removing blue from back here. The so blue is going to start with only five troops. Yes, called that. Okay. Well, you don't go for split bonuses. You're not going to hold them for very long. So I went for my uh, my noob corner here, but I, I didn't, after I earned it, I didn't actually dedicate any troops to it. Now Blue's in a daily of a pickle. I don't think anyone is down here. So here's where we try and leverage our advantage. It's going to take board. How much do you suppose Blue has here? Okay, blue's bought it. No, blue sets. Okay, sets walks down. Sue's into the orange capital. No. Well, we definitely don't set early. Let's take a little bit of board. Stop if we meet any sort of real resistance. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. It's just an, a disorganized mess in here. Blue's going to be real resistance, right? Who do I not want to see here? Black is here. Okay, we can just investigate. We don't actually need to do much down there. We don't care. We don't care about that pocket. If nobody wants it, I'll take it. Orange gets nine. Orange holds Spain. They would be card blocked, except they have this exterior to take cards. Or maybe they still have something here. We'll find out. Orange can be locked in a pocket on five cards. Can I engineer a scenario where they sue into 
blue because I have no available other play. So the parts of this board that are organized, this is organized, this is organized, this is orange, this is organized, this is organized. I assume white has Russia. Did they start with it? Learn that. Did white start with Russia? They did not. Okay, so orange might still be in Russia as well. Yeah, I think I think I just need to investigate because I know blue has this. So I just need to investigate these two territories and then I will understand this board. Red would be ridiculously dumb to break my bonus. Yeah, <laughs> he sees the stack pointed at him. He's going to bank some troops. Good play by red. We're not worrying about red yet. Red is a homie. Black is a homie. Lots and lots of homie play now. We can push our advantage with homie play. All right, what does blue get? Blue might be fucked. That might be their almost their last position. You see how I'm keeping my cap line open to clean this double cap pocket when and if? Blue moves into break. He's going to give orange a card there. That's a card. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. We set. What a joke this is. We keep the Vienna card. No, we take the Vienna card because it's on capital. Um, cool. And let's work on this. So I know blue's behind me. Uh, you know what? Let's just remove blue from behind me. Yeah, no one can now get back there. Slider error. Let's see who tries. Someone should probably try and address me now. <laughs> Black, maybe? Yeah, orange locked in a pocket. Orange gonna set. Do we see the Sioux slam into the blue capital? We do. Hey, hey. All right. Blue dies. That's blue's final territory, folks. Ah, but they don't take it. They don't realize it's Blue's final territory. I love this game. If I get this blue kill, I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. Let's see if Blue... Okay, white takes Western Europe. Eastern Europe. Breaks, yeah. Goes all the way in? No. He's a breaker. He's going to get the blue kill. Accidentally. Shit. Okay, that wasn't Blue's final territory. <laughs> Where do you suppose Blue's final territory is? Behind Orange? Oh, that's a double lull. Does White get it? He's manual rolling the capital, folks. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so let's see if Red sees the sitch. Because there's a double kill on the table. Red sets gets the 15. If either, if Blue, a, if Blue has a set on three, I'm unlucky. If they don't, I'm pretty sure I lock the game. They're fucking with white now for breaking them. I love that. You distract yourself over there. I'll go kill two players. Maybe black gets in. Let's see if black gets in. 17 now. And break me in Africa? I'm just take a Picorino. Yeah, a little Picorino there. Now break me in Noob Corner. Let's take a look. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> he shows himself to be unfriendly, but doesn't actually do anything about it. All right, where's Blue? Does Blue get a card? IW feed. Yeah, I'm going to feed on you, sir. My Uruguayan friend. There's going to be a fucking larf. going to be a larf and a harf, folks. Don't cap in a locked pocket, folks. Just don't do it. Okay, where is blue? What part of the board could blue possibly be in? Southern Russia.
northern Russia. Okay. Cool. So now I get attacked by everybody. White doesn't know what to do. If White was smart, they wouldn't attack me, because as soon as they do, I'm going to prioritize killing them. I'm going to break one of my bonuses. Yeah. Well played. <laughs> All right. Well, now I'm going to focus on you. <sighs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Black's going to hit me too, right? I'm actually not open to White. Set is red gets the 30, so I'm gonna hit the 35. Yeah, I can kill white probably. Red just takes a noob corner for himself. Like, peace too strong. All right, and black is gonna go down. So, actually, I do lose all of my positions here, so I have to kill white and set again, which is fine. I will. And then we'll be in a three-player game where I'll have both of my opponents as my enemies. Does black go down? Or does black respect the fact that I tried to let them hold a... I mean, I should have broken black. I fucked that up. Yeah, they're going to go down into Africa. Okay, so I don't actually hold anything. Fine. But we do kill white. They're helping me kill white, kind of. Yes. Yeah, so kill white, set, and then use only new troops to retake everything I lost. Black's also on five cards. Can I kill them? Maybe. Oh, they probably slightly too many. Ha! Huh. Nice. All right, and then use only new troops to take back everything I lose, right? I'm in the middle position between black and red. Pummeled black, but black's going to trade. Maybe red goes to the black kill, which in which case I would be in a better position. Do we have? Tell me we have a set. Do and set's forty five. All right, black's going to take that if red doesn't kill. Doesn't look like red is. Doesn't look like red is. Okay. Can I just red red locks or stack? Red's playing for second. Love you, red. Okay, so now it's a battle between me and me and black. Black's going to set how hard do they punch me. They're slow, right? They're going to retake rather than punch me. I'm going to have way too much board. Yeah, they're going to go back around the way that doesn't hurt me. Good. Maybe not. Maybe we see the 53 move. Yes. Going that way doesn't hurt me. It's already half his turn. I'm going to hold way too much stuff. And I'm going to use only new troops to retake everything. So we pressure black while leaving red. And break. Yep. 
And that's it for break. That's all you break. Cool, end caps, right. Uh, yes, we don't need to waste... Um, Now we really pressure black. Good game, sir. It was well played. Yep, thank you. Back at you, man. Reds can try and address now. Red continues to play for second. Last turn was the turn Red needed to hit me. So, Red, if you're watching this, Blaine Rampage 29. GG, I think, I think you taking a single card here was a fatal mistake. You needed to work with Black to shrink me at that point. You taking board here is, is kind of futile. Because I'm just going to hold too much, I think. And I'm going to work on one of you and not the other. While still breaking the other. Like, I know where your cap is, and you're never getting one of mine. What's the set? My 37 is open. I probably can kill black. Let's see. Does he open my 35? That will help. Actually, I can use the 43, can't I? I can double tap this guy in a pinch. Okay, the 35's open. That's better line. Go all the way around. Let's me have Orient. Okay. Let's kill Black, I think. Okay. And... Ooh, I don't have quite enough troops. Okay, how do we, how do we set this up then? And we hit Germany here, so we don't open the red capital. All right, and position the stack. Get the black kill. I mean, he's on four cards, though. Ah, damn it, I'm still in a three-player game. I was close to the black kill, but, not, but no cigar. Ooh, we do have a set. Okay, no set, no set, no set, no set. If black doesn't set on four, I get him. Yeah, Red playing well breaks the plus eight. Red played well. He just made one fatal mistake. Not put, not, okay, we do see the set. Can we go for red now? No. Do we see 57 v 35? Yes, we do. 57 v 35. Let's go. He's a manualing. Interesting. Okay. Okay, odds are better. 56 v 30. Switch to blitz. Nope. Me having set on three is great. Just kill black and go to the 1v1. You guys played well. You know, the quality of play is, is much improved. I love to see that. Missed the fortify. Ah, good. He missed the four to five. Robert, ladies and gentlemen, Robert is your uncle.
problem is I kill black. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. And no fortify in the mid. Oof, no fortify in the mid. Okay, so we lose the mid cap and we don't have a trade. This does give red a decent opportunity. Yeah, but we got not lucky, lucky. Another set on three. Yep, red takes it. Doesn't set. No set. Interesting. No set from red. I got really lucky because I think I fucked that up. I think I should have taken the kill. I should have waited one more turn to take the black kill. But we do get reasonably lucky as well. I needed to go into the 1v1 at this point, right? I can't let... Uh... Thanks, and good game. Yeah. Can't let my opponents catch up. So he's going to set. Whatever he does, I can undo. He should know that he's beaten. Maybe he just walks off cap. He's going to try and address me. I, I respect that as well. Maybe he gets the, the Gascony cap, but that's all his troops. What are you trying to do? Car block me? What are you trying to do? No. You gotta break a bunch of bonuses there, bro. This uh, situation with, with blue and orange, I knew what was gonna happen. I timed it out properly. I got, I won the cap. I won both the kills, right? This situation breeds a full sue from the locked cap player into the good cap player who chose first. And that's just bad luck for blue, right? Blue chose a great capital spot and just got a little bit unlucky. So we're going to leave that 43 up there. They can't do fuck all except my noob corner. And we're going to work on this pocket again. Say good game again. Your 43 isn't open to me. Your 43 can hit up. <coughs> and on a set, we can start to set up a card block. I think we need to really set up a card block. We can just beat the shit out of my fan. Probably smarter. And where does the 40 stack fortify to? His capital. Seventy-five trade coming out, coming around the outside, coming around the outside. Eighty-six. All right. Do we lose the thirty-three cap? That'd be great. Roll it. Yes. Loses big. Thank you. Now you can't break me very well. I just have way too much of this board. I'm a bit like a cat playing with his food right now. But I need I need double whatever this is on here. So we're not quite there yet, I don't think. Also, there's a stack here, I'm pretty sure. So I don't open this territory.
just undoing everything he did. And yeah, as I said, on a set, we set up a card block. It's a one, two, three, four, five point card block. He's a bot. That's a GG. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Good game, man. All right, that was a fun one. Getting her done in 40 minutes. Big fortify. Big fortify. Yeah, he had 120 on his cap, right? So I needed 240 to roll the final capital. Uh, yeah, and boop. And whoppa. Stack still there? No stack. And whoppa. Whoppa. Why do I do the world on, folks? It's a vestige. Vestige from um, tournament games where you want to get the bounty kill. It doesn't affect your points. It's just more fun, more satisfying to clear the whole board. So there you have it. Bob's your uncle. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on Free Pete, a daily release on the Kill Pete strategy, doing a bunch of tournament streams. Because the Pete Men is competing in all sorts of great stuff these days. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, what do we got? Defeating three beginners, one intermediate, one master, and Sonny Slackjaw. GG Sonny. Until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.